That's crazy because uh, I actually used to fight. You know, like I was telling you, I used to be a fighter back in the day, so I made like a bunch of money and stuff. It's no big deal. <laughs> Oh. Well guys, it's a tale as old as time. It's a brand new day, which means that Darman has once again posted a video which, if I was president, would likely be a violation of some federal law. Because boy, is it bad. Now as we've talked about over the last few months, really since the beginning of 2023, maybe a bit earlier, Darman has kind of been getting uh, weird with his content. And when I say weird, I mean it's leaving behind any of the old attributes of a Darman video. Like if you go back two or three years ago, Darman videos, yeah, they weren't great, but the acting was at least kind of believable, like it was soap opera level kind of acting. It was dramatic, it was silly, but it was still kind of reminiscent of a normal human. These days, we've gone full Nickelodeon Disney special, where the plots and the acting in these videos are not even reminiscent of normal daily life. I maintain that I think Darman is trying to get his channel big enough, and the acting and the plots of these videos silly and kid-friendly enough that he gets bought out by one of these big kids' networks. I don't really understand why else there'd be like a dramatic content shift because his old stuff was doing amazingly. I can't think of any other explanation. But until that happens, we still have to see new Darman videos on YouTube, just like the one we're going to be watching today. Teen cheats on test for an iPhone 15. He lives to regret it. In case you were wondering, no, the iPhone 15 doesn't exist. I had to Google that too. So apparently this bad boy is set in the future, so hopefully we'll see like some flying cars or something. Something to distract us from the plot. But let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Oh. I'm gonna be in big trouble. Darman, I respect not putting any effort into actually making your props look correct, but I mean, we're not even five seconds into the video yet, and this says this is a math test. It says chemistry test at the top, and the first line is the questions on this test to measure your knowledge and understanding of math. Come on, buddy. Alex, honey, dinner's ready. I got an A minus on my English test. You did? Mm -hmm. Carter, we're so proud of you. <laughs> Alex, weren't you supposed to get your chemistry test back today? How did you do? I uh, did fine. Just fine? Mm -hmm. This food looks incredible, Mom. Thank you so much for making dinner for us. I, I can't wait to just dig in. Stop beating around the bush. What'd you get on your test? Yeah, on the note of food, actually, what are we, uh, what are we eating here? Small portions all around must be a family diet. Uh, we got, like, a single small potato cut up in fours and then, like, five peas and carrots. Interesting. Not my favorite dish, but hey, everybody's got their own tastes. Just bring it here so we can see it. Since you did so well, Carter, we've got a big surprise for you. A surprise? Oh, it must be the new iPhone 15. Oh my gosh. Man, I wish I got iPhones for getting A's on my test. That was just expected when I was growing up. It's always interesting to see the different childhoods people lived. I'm assuming Darman kind of had one like this because all of his videos reflect something like this. Children getting big things for doing well in school. What were your guys' parents like growing up? For me, it was either A's or it's just not good enough. They're never gonna get it for me once they find out that I... Let me see. You got an A! That's amazing, son! Why did you tell us that you did just fine? Man, this guy's brother looks like his number one hater. I feel like I'm not going to enjoy this character. This is incredible. I, I just, I, I don't know, I want to surprise you guys, that's all. <laughs> Speaking of surprises, I heard you talk to Carter. Does that mean we're getting an iPhone 15? Uh, oh. No. Uh, if you must know, we're going to Palm Springs to visit your grandmother for the weekend. Oh, grandmas? You gotta be kidding me. If I knew that, I would've just 
failed the test. Alex! What? Grandma's is so boring. My man, how do you think Grandma would feel if she knew such words were being muttered? I'll give Darman credit for one thing, I guess. The characters he doesn't want you to like are never very likable. I mean, it's not like it's very nuanced. It's always pretty easy, pretty predictable writing. If he doesn't want you to like a character, he just makes them miserable about everything. But hey, it works, I guess. And you guys both know how long I've been wanting this new iPhone. I'm sick of this old crappy one. Okay, well, this is what we can do. If you get an A on the next test, we'll get you one. I find it really funny when scenes like this are written because it's like, did the person who write this ever go to school? Like, what do you mean on the next test in any class? Any test in any subject? I mean, they might have a test tomorrow. Are you looking for a specific test? It's like basically just saying, if you do well on whatever is assigned to you next, yeah, we'll get you a phone, sure. It makes no sense. Well, wait, if Daisy needs help, then maybe Alex could help her? He just got an A on his chem exam. He did? Yeah, and I'm sure he would love to help. Isn't that right, Alex? Mm -hmm. Okay, I always get choked up on this. What's the difference between endothermic and exothermic? Oh, that's an easy one. Um, endothermic reaction is a chemical reaction that absorbs heat from its surroundings, resulting in a uh, decrease of temperature of its surrounding environments and an exothermic reaction is a chemical reaction that releases heat in its surroundings resulting in an increase of temperature of its surrounding environments. Wow, thanks. First off, why why would you use chat GPT for this? Why would you not just Google it? I mean, that's an unbelievably Googleable question. I mean, this seems a little forced. It's like Darman's almost trying to show that he's with the current trends or something. Also, what is this guy's brother's problem? I mean, seriously, what's your deal, man? This is the hill you're gonna die on cheating on a test in high school? My God, he should be sent to prison. Get over it. I gotta say, I had no idea you're so smart, Alex. Oh, thanks, why? Well, I know a thing or two. It's just... Can you just give me one second? Dude, what are you doing here? Get out! You're cheating. Just like you probably cheated on your last test. No, I didn't. Now go. This isn't even cheating. He's essentially just using ChatGPT as Google, and uh, guess what? It's perfectly fine to use the internet to study. How would looking things up on your computer make you a cheater on a test? Sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. I actually gotta get going. The UFC fight's about to come on. Are you watching it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to see who's gonna win between Strickland and Megumin. Magomedov? Yeah, right. That's right. I know, I always uh, mix up the name for some reason. I didn't know the girls watched UFC, though. Yeah, well, my ex used to be a fighter. And my ex before that. I guess you could say I have a type. That's crazy, because... Uh, I actually used to fight. Yeah, see, this is where you start to step into dangerous territory. A little white lie never hurt anybody, not a big deal. Somebody you like says they like to hike. Well, <laughs> now you do too. But uh, UFC, saying you used to be a fighter. Yeah, no, that, that one's a little far. And I'm assuming Darman's gonna make this guy get in a fight or something, and we're gonna see it all unfold. You gotta know your limits, people. Yeah, I won a bunch of competitions and stuff. <laughs> really? I can't believe I didn't know all this stuff about you, Alex. You're actually pretty cool. Well, you're not so bad yourself. Anyways, I'll see you at school tomorrow. I'm, uh, go punch the bag. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. You don't watch UFC. And you couldn't even fight to save your life. What are you still doing here, man? I told you to leave my room. Just be careful, okay? You know what they say. Lies are like quicksand. They're easy to step into but hard to get out of. Yeah, gonna have to come out and say it. I'm not a fan of this guy. I've gotta be honest. I don't like the drama in his movement. It's kinda making me uneasy. But yeah, you shouldn't lie, people. I know I just condoned lying about hiking, but uh, that's that's kinda tongue-in-cheek. You shouldn't lie about things. You should be honest. Being honest is a good thing to do. But hey, when you're young, you're probably gonna lie to impress people. That's like almost part of life. If you can honestly say that you never lied about anything in middle school to make you seem cooler, then either one, you're still a liar, or you're more honest than most of humanity. You're not gonna believe this. The printer isn't working. I was unable to print out any of the exams. 
Oh, no. I know some of you study really hard for this. Oh, man. This is a shame, Dr. Reich. I was really looking forward to taking the test, too. Oh, we're still taking the test. But instead of doing written tests, we'll do oral presentations, and I'll email you all your grades. Alex, since you're so excited, you can go first. Why don't you come on up now? Yeah, no, there's no way a single teacher would ever do this to themselves. Instead of just waiting for the printer to be fixed, you're going to go through multiple class periods, making like 30 people present something individually. And then why would you need to email them their grade? Most schools these days has like an online database for the grades. It's just little things like this that make it really evident that nobody proofread this script or, you know, any of them. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh, are you all right? Uh, no, no, my ankle, I think I twisted. Try not to move, I'll call the nurse. No, 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 that's okay, no, I'll I just hop on over, it's not that far, no, that's okay. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I don't want to stop the guys from taking the test, so you guys go on ahead. Honestly, I'll just grab myself later. I'll be fine, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, um, uh, let's start with Daisy, then. Come on up. Oh, yes. Shh. Woo! Yeah, no, that's totally realistic. A teacher sees a student who they know does not do well in their class, coincidentally fall when they're having to come to the front of a class to do a presentation, and then they're sent to the nurse to never be seen again. There's nothing you can do for a twisted ankle. She might give him ice or something, but he would have to come back to the class. This would not get you out of a test. Dear Alex, I'm writing to let you know that you received an A on your last exam. Good work. Now let's make it great work. Yeah, that's better. Yours truly, Dr. Vyak. Oh, okay. So this is why he had to email the grades so we could set up this plot point. Gotcha. Mom! You're not gonna believe this. I just got an email from Dr. Vyak and... Check this out. I got another A. How did he make a school-affiliated email with his teacher's name? We're really just gonna brush past that? Okay, whatever. I don't care. Okay, <laughs> wow. I am so impressed with you, Mr. <laughs> Alex. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Anything you want to give me? <laughs> well, you earned it, so... Here you go. Yes! Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Mom. I'm gonna have to use my old crappy iPhone, thanks. Mm -hmm. She's really just carrying around a $1,500, $2,000 extra phone in her purse, just for whenever the day might call for it. You expect me to believe this, Dardar? She didn't wait to see the test score before going and buying the phone. She just had that much faith in old Alex? Yeah, good for her. Oh, it's Daisy. Um, we're going to the movies. Mom, can I borrow the BMW, please? Why can't you take your car? Can't be seen in that old rust bucket. Please. Thank you. Hey, how's your ankle? Oh, it's, uh... Did you do something to your ankle? <laughs> no, no, I, I just... He tripped and sprained it really bad. I mean, he couldn't even take the time. The stairs! I couldn't even take the stairs. I refuse to believe that every student in that classroom would not know exactly what he was doing. Everybody would know he's trying to get out of the test. A teacher would never fall for that, and the students wouldn't either. Come on, you gotta give me something, Dardar. But, um, I'm... As you can see, I'm, I'm, I am fine now, so it's not even a big deal. So... I thought it was your right ankle. Uh, it was, it was, but I was just showing her that both of them are fine, so. I'm good, Mom. That was a fast recovery. I'm sure you're used to getting hurt all the time. Because you used to fight? Who used to fight? Uh, Mom, um, I'm trying to hang out with, with Daisy, so if you could just give us some space. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, uh, shall we? One of my biggest pet peeves in TV or movies, or I guess Dharma and YouTube videos, is when people write dialogue that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. I mean, like, there are rules we follow as people when we talk to each other, and I cannot stand when dialogue breaks those rules. Both people would be like, okay, why are you lying about your ankle? Why are you trying to change the subject? What are you talking about? Why is she saying you used to fight? You've never fought before. If you're saying, oh, the stairs, I couldn't take the stairs, oh my god, and I'd be like, no, I, I was talking about your test. Like, there are things we do as humans 
happens when we speak to each other, and when your plot is dependent on people not doing those things, it's really hard to watch. Can I help you? Uh, yeah. Can I have, um, two tickets of Barbie, please? <laughs> is there something funny? Yeah, Barbie? Let me guess, you used to play with the Barbie dolls growing up too, huh? <laughs> He probably still does. Alright, this is kind of getting out of hand. Does Darman have some sort of contract with like the Bratz doll company that he has to make some sort of joke about Barbie every video? Or does he just think that they're really that funny? Please tell me that's not the case. <laughs> Barbie Ann can't problem. Hey bro, how does some guy like give some score girl like that anyways, huh? It's gotta be this new shirt. Mm. That would be $19? Seriously? Did you change? Enjoy the show. Yeah, thanks. Enjoy the show, little guy. Okay, so I'm assuming these two are Daisy's ex-boyfriends. First off, who gets buddy-buddy with the ex of an ex? Secondly, really? The matching leather jackets? Come on, Darman. Are we watching The Outsiders? And then to top it all off, little guy, when our main character is the same size, if not slightly bigger than these guys. I mean, I just, I don't get it. Is it supposed to be this corny? Who can even afford to come hey. here? Hey, I'm back. Did you get the popcorn? Um... Uh, no, I didn't... want it. Oh, I thought that you could... Barbie yeah. man! The odds. So, um... Tell me, uh, what is a girl like you doing with a guy like that? Hey, watch it. I'll have you know he's an MMA fighter. Ah, uh, Daisy, let's not. Uh... Is that right? <laughs> you supposed to be tough, bro? I'll tell you what, how about we go outside and we see just how tough you really are? No, that's really not necessary. You can take both, you clowns. Alex, I know right now this does not seem like the ideal situation, but this is actually a blessing in disguise. A woman who volunteers you to fight for her? Not a good woman. Not someone you want to be with. Even if he was an actual MMA fighter, that's just not what you do. You don't antagonize fights on behalf of other people, especially not people you care about. So Alex, you might be about to lose a few teeth, but hey, better this happen now than later, right? I wouldn't mess with him if I were you. Really? Well, let's see about that. Why aren't you fighting back? <laughs> Guys, I'm pretty sure watching this many Darman videos has like a similar effect on my health as like smoking a pack a day would. Am I really watching this right now? Is this really happening? First off, I don't really care how good of a fighter you are. Two versus one, the odds are not in your favor. I mean, there's not much you can do when two guys are kicking you while you're on the ground. There's not a whole lot of moves to counteract that one. And then she just opens up a can on him and that's all it takes. Let me guess, she's a UFC fighter? Yeah, that's why you better run. What happened? Thought you were a fighter. Ah, uh, I am. I just, <gasps> oh I, my God, Alex, are you okay? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Were you just fighting? Cause you've never been in a fight in your life. I thought he was a professional fighter. Alex? No. Why would you think that? That's honestly an extremely good question because if this girl follows UFC, she should know that this guy is not a professional fighter. But why would we address that when we could just ignore it and act like the plot makes sense? Why are you even here, Mom? What, you left and took your new iPhone before I could activate it and you left your old one at home? And since you borrowed my BMW, it took me a while to Uber over. So you lied about the phone and the BMW. What else did you lie about? Don't ever call me again. Like I said, Alex, you might be upset about this one for a while, but it's probably for the best. You're lucky that she's a Power Ranger and can fight off your assailants because I'm thinking you're starting to already forget that the reason you got beat up is because of her. Great. Thanks, Mom. You completely ruined Mrs. my Brown. kiss. I was just telling Alex. I hope his ankle gets better so he can take the exam he missed. Exam he missed? Yeah, he took a bad spilling class, so missed the test. So you're telling me that you didn't email him saying that he got an A? An A? No. 
If he did, that'd be a miracle, considering he failed the last test. Failed the last... Alex! You are in so much trouble, young man. This guy is a horrible brother. His brother is sitting there. His life is falling apart around him. He just got beat up, lost his girlfriend. His mom's finding out he's failing school. And he's sitting there laughing to himself. Are we supposed to like this character? Mom, I can explain- You just wait till your dad finds out. You're gonna give me that phone back too. When we go to Palm Springs to see your grandmother, you're not just staying for the week. You are staying for the whole summer. No. No, 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 Mom, it's horrible there. Please, please. Mom, don't make me. I tried to warn you. Lies are like quicksand. They're easy to step into. But they're hard to get out of. Yeah, we heard it the first time, and this time around, the delivery was even more cringy. Also, quicksand is not necessarily easy to step into. Like, you've got to find it first. Most people around the country are not going to be able to go out and, like, find quicksand. Am I being a bit pedantic? Uh, maybe, but I think I've earned it. Oh, oh. I don't like quicksand. I need to get into it. Oh, 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 Hi. Is this meant to be like a satisfying ending? Sure, the life lesson here is not bad, you shouldn't lie, and it's easy to get caught up in lies, but uh, looking into the facts here, this kid just got jumped by two trained fighters. He's sprained, twisted his ankle, and he's sitting here in the parking lot and his family's leaving him. That's, uh, that's not cool. As a parent, you've got to understand that, yeah, your kid's probably going to lie about a few things. If they're struggling in a subject, don't punish them for it. But your child has been the victim of a crime, and you're leaving him in a parking lot. Let's do a life lesson video about why you shouldn't do that. Well, guys, that was quite the doozy. I've got to say, it might be one of the more kind of believable stories we've seen recently. The life lesson was actually decent, but it's mainly the ending that got me. Like, I feel like even the strictest of mothers would be a little bit more concerned about the fact that our child just got jumped rather than him lying about a grade. At least, uh, I'd hope so. These silly plots that are concocted for no other reason than to seem like a Disney or Nickelodeon show that take you out of the life lesson are not a good look. This could have been a decent video had the plot not been so silly. We're so close to greatness, Dardar. Take us there. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.